guys, Andy the Budget Angler here. Um, early one for you today, it's about 20 past five. Out on the Greenway, heading to um, a local park, not my most local of parks, but not far, about 20, 25 minutes cycle away. Um, apparently there's a few tension there. It seems to be sort of a bit of a tension of bream spring into summer, which isn't a bad thing. Seems to be doing a lot better than I was doing this time last year. So. Uh, that's definitely a positive. Um, obviously, you can see from my appearance, the barbers aren't open. Um, and I'm kind of just uh, going with the flow, hair-wise at the moment. Um, and beard-wise as well. I used to have a beard ages ago when I was uh, um, in my 20s, I suppose. Uh, so, thinking about maybe bringing it back. Well, yeah. It's amazing what... Uh, after a few weeks in lockdown and just doing Zoom meetings, how things do slip. And I've never been the most vain of people as it is. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, waffling on as usual. It's, it's going to be a beautiful morning. It's going to be a lovely warm day. A little bit chilly this morning, but not a bad thing. It's been really sunny all week, so the water's going to have been warmed up nicely. Hopefully the fish are feeding. I've got some maggots. Um, I forgot my worms. Managed to get a few out of the garden with the... Um, dry weather and I've left them in the fridge but I'm not going back now because I know if you don't get to this place early you don't get a swim but I think maggots will be all right I've got some pellets and some bread if needs be so um, yeah anyway I'll leave that there and hopefully I'll see you in a minute when I get a fish well guys things aren't exactly going to plan <laughs> um, I've now <laughs> been um, at the park for about uh, 45 minutes and I'm still not in because it doesn't open until 7 so um, there you go so it's got it's not not long gone 6 uh, I was gonna have a little go in the canal which you can see behind me but it's about two foot deep and crystal clear um, there's nothing moving there's not a not a not a ripple on the surface um, so and I'm not very portable so I don't really want to tackle up start fishing and then have to move in a little while um, to get down to one of the first gates that open at seven, um, which has annoyed me to be honest. It's classic, really. It's classic, classic me, isn't it? Um, should have checked these things really, because I thought I'd get here, you know, get fishing by half six and away by nine, and have the rest of the day to do stuff with. I mean, I could have gone somewhere else, but I kind of had my heart set on it. So uh, there you go. Hopefully, I'll get in at seven, and we still might. The sun might not be too high to get a couple of fish um, although saying that I mean I got here at five to eight last week and um, all the swims were taken uh, all the reasonable swims were taken as I understand it anyway I mean I've, this is only the second time I've been here and um, I got tipped off by someone last week um, who sort of you know said that the other end's better and the, the swims fill up really early um, I thought really early was um, you know really early but obviously, they, they, I think they, the park might open earlier or might even be open all the time when it's not a pandemic. But obviously, um, they're, they're, they're monitoring it. I mean, it, this was one of the parks that was mentioned on the news and that with people sort of not social distancing. So um, that's, you know, I, I, you know, I'm not going to stand here and moan about it. Um, it's for a very good reason. So, um, yeah, it is irritating. But, you know, I mean... In this pandemic, I'm thankful I haven't been struck down with it. Touch wood or bike handlebar, none of my family have, um, and uh, I can get out and do the thing I love. So, um, on the scheme of things, not got nothing to moan about really. But I do hope I can get fishing in there in a little bit. There you go guys, look at that, beautiful tent in the sunshine, absolutely lovely. Tiny but perfect, absolutely perfect. Yeah, guys, beautiful native British species there. Yep, 
the upturned mouth tells you it's a rudd, absolutely cracking. Here in uh, ha Okay guys, slightly try and get a very lively, nice and warm in the early morning. Another rudd there, absolutely cracking little fish. Got another one there, they are beautiful. The fins are so so perfect and red, they are just lovely. Now guys, plenty of lovely little rudds still come in, even though it's getting getting on now. Um, although I haven't done a time check, I don't know what the time is, but been here well over an hour now. This is great fun guys, really good fun. I, I could catch these all day long and hopefully I will. This is just brilliant. Slightly better one there guys. Just a little bit, just a little bit chunkier. They really are cracking though. They are cracking little fish. Another lively rudd there guys. Um, absolutely lovely. I think I'm going to call it a day soon. I've had plenty of these little things. The sun's getting well, well high in the sky. I haven't had any more of the little tench. I would like another one but um, I think with it getting so hot it's probably unlikely but we, we can still hope. Another, another little one there guys, this, this reminds me of my childhood, I used to sit over at a pond um, near the caravan park in Dovercourt where my parents had a caravan and we'd sit there for, me and my brother would sit there for hours and hours and hours just catching you know hundreds and hundreds of rudd on maggot, um, it was brilliant fun, this is, this is lovely. Well guys, what a, uh, what a fantastic little venue, it's, only, it's about nearly 10 o'clock, the cricket's going to be on in a minute, they're repeating some of the World Cup matches from last year so I'm going to get on that get in the garden I've got to do a bit in the garden today um, so yeah there's a lovely morning session just about three hours um, plenty of little rudder tiny tench and um, so, some really really friendly people here as well um, yeah really really nice this is the second time I've been here um, fished it last weekend different swim didn't get anything um, this is the uh, yeah so uh, I think this is the better end at the moment but I think it's going to depend on the time of year it's not very deep and it is a bit weedy but um, I know people have been in touch with the council about getting it, um, you know, getting it, getting it sort of cleared back because it's not good. I think it's not, you know, it's the weed will choke out everything, let alone, you know, just the fishing. Um, I think it will start to change the ecosystem. So there's definitely a benefit of, of managing it properly. Um, yeah, just while I'm, I'm chatting to you, I just want to do a couple of shout outs. Um, 
Shout out to Danny and Tess, who I met on the towpath last weekend up at Tottenham. They watched the videos and stopped to say hello, and we had a good good chat. Um, shout out to Min and I think he said his mate was called Cottage, but I don't know if that was taking a mickey. Um, met them down at the docks. They were lure fishing, and they watched the videos. So hello to you. Um, hello to Vince, who fishes over here, who stopped and said hello, or was fishing nearby and said hello. And, um, likes the videos and gave me some good tips on some additives for the ground bait and the maggots for here so that was really good um and i think that's everyone i've said i'll shout out but if i have forgotten you then uh sorry drop me a comment and i'll try and remember the next time um and uh yeah hopefully guys you've enjoyed that and i'll see you on the next one cheers fish on